Yeah. OMG, bro. I'm telling you. Uh, life and understanding. Oh, it ain't shit. Bro, golly. I, had, I just had, like, I just went on the DMT journey. Bro, I can't even explain. This is like one of them times I cannot explain what I was even seeing. Like, I knew it was a gang of stuff. And, bro, I was just there. It was like, <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, man. But I just went like, I was just laying in the bed. And something just said, bro, you should get up and go smoke some DMT. So I took me two shots. You feel me? To work, I said I, I'm not scared no more. Like like I used to be. Like I never was scared. It's just the fact that, bro, we don't know shit. We don't know nothing. We don't know nothing, especially about this place right here. The place up here. Oh, we don't know shit. We don't know shit. The, everything I just seen, it don't even make sense. It don't make sense, bro. Like, I don't even know where I was. We talk about breakthroughs. No, I wasn't floating through anywhere. I was in a place and it was like, I can't even explain it. That shit just made me cry, though. Because I was like, what the fuck is this place? Like, I never seen this place before. And I was trying to you know, grab my memory, like, have I seen this before? It's like, no, I, no, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain the place because I've never been there before. But I said, man, I said, we don't know shit, bro. Our perception is all the way off. And I said, both times, bro, when I came out, when I came out, like, when I was like coming down, it looked like it reminded me of a fucking 4ACO because when I seen the Baphomet, that's what it reminded me of. And the way the Baphomet, the chains was shining off the Baphomet, like the way they were shining, it was like these weird like circles that would glisten and it would show rainbows you know it'd be like a rainbow of colors inside of it but it was see through it wasn't like no bro and like when I came out of it and I was looking at everything that's how it was and I'm like oh shit I'm like tripping out looking at everything look I, I'm telling you my feet cause I did it in the bathroom in the tub. I'm not going to lie. The tub didn't look real. The bathroom didn't look real. My feet, everything looked fake. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, and I'm seeing everything. It's weird, right? Because as I'm smoking, my mind is just gathering information. So it's like, as I'm still trying to hit the DMT, my mind is already seeing stuff. That's what was weird, you know? So, like, I could see a picture in my mind, but it was, like, weird how I could see it. And I knew it was working. So I kept trying to go. I kept trying to take more hits and take more hits just to go further, to see how further, how far I could go while I'm still seeing this stuff. You feel me? And I just held it. But it's, like, kind of crazy because you take all these hits and then... You know, you kind of get breathless to where, you know, you almost out of breath trying to hold that last one. And that's what it was like. It was like I was almost out of breath, but I had to take that last hit. And then even after that, after just being in there, I opened my eyes and raised up and took another hit just to make it stay longer. But it was it was weird, bro. I can't explain that place. I can't even explain it because it was like what the, it was like what like and and I can still kind of see it right now like this white these white colors but it was like 
I don't know what that shit was, bro. That was crazy. But it was dope because, you know, once I went, I jumped up and I was like, went and grabbed my other stuff and I came back, was like, you know, because I said with the uh with the vape, it's it's better to take two trips back to back or three trips back to back, which I wanted to take a third trip. But it seemed like the second trip lasted so long and I was in there. I was just, all I could do was just, I couldn't do nothing. You feel me? But just look and listen to my dumb mind say demons and devils and all this weird stuff that, that it do now. And I'm like going, you know, I had to put on some music. I was listening to uh, the, the God Frequency. And the God frequency, well, I li that's what I jumped up to go get. I jumped up to go get my headphones. So, like, when I put on the God frequency, it, like, kind of made everything. That's when I was seeing stuff. Like, before I even started hitting it. Like, on before I started taking the second journey and started hitting it, when I started playing the music, I already started seeing stuff. So, it was like, I was already seeing these weird colors and these... I don't know what to call them, but it was like, bro, I said, that was like two breakthroughs back to back. I wasn't in the waiting room. I wasn't in the waiting room, but this place, bro, I can't even, there's no way I can't even describe it because it was so much going on and like, and I felt stupid because I never been there, so I, I wasn't trying to pay attention to what it was saying, you know, or what it was throwing at me. I just was in the basement, like, where the fuck am I at? Like, I knew I wasn't here no more, so it was like, I, I couldn't do nothing but just look. And it was just like, you know, every time I tried to, like, kind of do something else, I couldn't because I was fascinated by what I was seeing and I don't even I don't what the hell bro what the hell I said man we don't know nothing about this right here this place right here I don't care what anybody says this place got places that are beyond even what we think is so this place up here this place up here goes beyond whatever, beyond anything that exists, beyond anything that exists. This place right here, which is inside you, which is you, bro, it, it, it's weird because I, I like just seeing it and understanding it and going, what the fuck? Like the mind, the mind, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was that was wild, that was wild. But it was, it was, it felt pleasant because you know I had a pillow and everything. I just slid in the tub and just laid back and just let it just take me. I didn't even, I didn't even try to stop it. I was I surrender in the beginning, like two days ago, months ago, years ago. But I didn't. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I never seen nothing like that. And I'm like going, wow. It kind of makes me want to go again, but I'm not because it's late. But still, bro, that was wild. That was wild. The mind, this up here, bro. This up here, whatever this is up in here, bro. That shit can, that shit is, it's out of, it's, it's out of our control. Just put it like that. It's out of our control, period. It's out of our control. And we try to control it. And it's like, you can't. That shit is like a thing of its own. And then when you go and you experience the places up in here, it's, it's beyond me, bro. It's beyond me. Because I don't even know. I, like, I don't even know what to say. That shit was crazy. It was crazy, but it was dope. It was dope, but I had to I had to come share it. Even though it still was, I don't know what the hell it was. So it's like, what am I sharing? I don't even know what it was, bro. I was just looking at it. I could and I couldn't and I know I seen like on the first trip, I seen the gestures 
like a couple of times, but it was like hard to even, even, even like, because the way they hide themselves and, and whatever you see in, they camouflage themselves, but you can still kind of see them moving around doing stuff. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, what, bro? It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I just had to come share, man. And, man, I'll see y'all tomorrow or something. Yeah, because we got a show tomorrow, you feel me? Uh, it's going to be around noon. We're going to have the one guy that wrote the two books on the channel. So, yeah, wow, bro. But peace out. I'll see y'all later on today. I mean, I'm talking about tomorrow, later on today, huh? I can't, I can't even explain what just happened. But peace out.